This was the destruction the tsunami wrought. All that remained were the bodies and the mosques that were miraculously unharmed. Ten years later, and this is downtown Banda Aceh. In place of the bodies that once lined the lanes in front of this mosque, there are families out enjoying the afternoon sun. In the aftermath of the tsunami, billions of dollars worth of aid money poured into this place, transforming Aceh's physical landscape. But it wasn't just the infrastructure that changed here. Families were torn apart and then brought together again. The tsunami ripped through Mustafa's family home. He wasn't in Aceh at the time, and when he returned, he thought he had lost everything. I thought there was nothing left, that no one had survived, only me. I walked through the bodies and then found my brothers. They said all our families are gone. What Mustafa didn't know at the time was that his four-year-old daughter, Rina, was alive. In an emotional meeting, Rina was reunited with her father by aid workers, nearly one month after the tsunami struck. I was so happy to see my dad again. I just wanted to return to him as soon as possible. I didn't want to stay there anymore. After that, I was always at my dad's side. I was so afraid to lose him again. There are reminders of the tsunami everywhere here. This fishing boat was swept two kilometers inland by the waves, landing near a house where 57 people were convinced they were going to drown. They were saved by climbing on board the boat, which is now a tourist site, and to some, a symbol of their God's power. Perhaps this is a reminder from Allah, so we can become better people. We should be more faithful in our prayers and we should look after our family. Now that I've lost family members, I need to care more for the ones that are still alive. Protecting those still alive is now a priority here. Aceh's school children regularly run through earthquake drills, so they know what to do if another disaster strikes. The lessons learned on that day 10 years ago will live on in the next generation. Karishma Vaswani, BBC News, Banda Aceh.